go ahead and just show you where it's at. First off, the camp itself, the Huckleberry, is down from Dyer Chemical. And up from the retreat, a lot of people do camp in this region. I have another camp over here that, yeah, I just showed. Swamphold, my first video. This is now my second. I tried. Um, but down here, you'd think there would be a lot of crap. I actually don't have as much crap as I would expect being right here. I plop my camp and now there's nothing. Go figure. And continuing on, let's go in here and have a look. I went ahead and ran over here to get us started from the dock, so we're just going to go ahead and swim on across. And that kind of gave you an idea of how that got up there right from the get-go. Alright, so when you first come up, you have this lovely little walkie, and where I thought about slapping vendors, honestly, in the long run, but for now I've just got a nice little chill hangout spot to hang with, you know, my friends, my followers, whoever. Um, then this was actually a pain in my ass to figure out at first, but it is where I originally built over partially from. There are two locations that I built from. One was underground. Did I just glitch? I can't tell. Anyways, we'll see when this whole thing's done, if I've got anything workable. My ducks. Okay, so I am kind of a moron, and I already know a bunch of people are going to be asking about the ducks, because the teaser I posted on Discord resulted in a lot of people asking, how did you get the ducks on the water? And the answer is simple. There is a platform way down there at the bottom that I used with blueprints to get everything on here, and that platform had pylons on it. The ducks are on the pylons. Um, you can also do this using just like poles. But it just all depends on how much you're willing to uh, tweak and glitch. See, this is another example of shoving stuff in, but I love this amount of junk that I've got going here. Alright, so back in. This is the front porch area. I kind of customized my little garden zone and everything. The bathtub. I don't have a lot of flowers to work with, sadly. I am very proud of this spot right here, which I wish I was in my swimsuit, but I will just go ahead and show you how it works. You get right up on this, come in, do, 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 do. and it's hard to do this when you're not used to not having the HUD. I erased it so I could show things better in the video because I realized it looked better. So this is my second one and I'm just getting used to the new settings, but you've got this lovely way of sitting here. Your feet do hang in the water, which is great, so now that I can come back out of this, I will show it better this time. Oh, man. Eventually I'll show it. I'm kind of an idiot. Okay, there we go. And yeah, your feet actually hang in the water in this mode, which is great. I'm all about having things look right. Alright, so I'll go ahead and swim down here and show you some of the underside. This is some of the leftover parts. I don't really have a lot of the main parts down here anymore, but... You've got the remaining platform and the rest of the generator down here. Because you know you have to have that fin in the water. And yeah. Platforms and stairs. And pushing. Build over, build down. Then I came into creative to clean it up. I always clean things up over in creative before I do my videos at this point because it seems like I can enjoy the nicer weather and change things up. Ah, coming on inside. Junk army again. I always have a junk army. I feel like as a wastelander I need to have 9 million pounds of trash most of the time, although I am very much attempting to make a clean build. It's not really my thing. Um, trashy trash holes. Trashy trash holes are my thing. I love my trashy trash holes. Alright, so this one, I actually wound up using the Raider chair here. And the reason why is the space is very tight, and a regular chair would not allow me to interact with both the desk and the bed. And I get a nice little ham radio out of it. Once again, I glitch those tables down into those, because just like the uh, computer table, I hate the ham radio table. Just give me a nice desk. Is that so much to ask? downside of coming into this view right here is you have to look at a wall. But the cool side is, I put all my cards on this wall. But you can rest and sleep on the bed. I'll try and get some other footage of that at some point. I wish I had. 
I think I've got a screenshot of it in one of the montage videos. I can't remember. Then, here we are with the kitchen. Okay, I've got a little trog. Murloc, whatever he's supposed to be in, in there. I'm cooking some frog legs. Got an agua egg going, which agua eggs are fun to cook like, just like the uh, death claw eggs and your <coughs> Easter eggs. You can have at it with this. All right, we're coming around to the back on this side. I hate this area. I haven't stuffed anything in it. It is empty. Empty is bad. No. We don't like it. All right, so if you're wondering what's up with all the washed out, I've kind of got it set on Mothman Equinox right now. I just really like this guy and the color schemes. But we're going to go ahead and turn my pit boy off, because so that'll help reduce the washout. But yeah, all that's around here on this side is the wonderfully glitched together item. I like honey. I do that quest pretty much every day because I like those teas. Give me my perception. Then over here, yeah, sweet water is pretty awesome on that note. Sweet water's teas are kind of like the uh, canned meat stews. You just go for it every time. Alright, so I built a little stairwell here out of some toolboxes, and that helped me do that. I have an under area over there because originally I ran power through there. Since then, and being on private, I chose to delete it so I could just run it without the generator so I could have a little extra space under there, so I wound up stuffing junk in there. Because, once again, trashy, trash heaps. Got music area set up back here along with a barbecue grill. I really wish we could get some, like, hot dogs or something to decorate those. And beyond that, that is the build. Alright, so I did try attaching a spotlight on the front. It's not my thing. It didn't work. It didn't look right to me. I liked the moving concept up here. I just hated the way it looked and I couldn't get it merged into anything good with the way I wanted to do the roof. I hate the roofs in this game. I am not good at merging roofs yet. I will get there someday. Just not today. And when I do, I will probably build a better roof onto the Huckleberry. Over here I chose to use the sunflower flag because it's kind of my favorite. And, yeah, I did put a rad toad up here as well. Honestly, this is a pretty nice build to me, in my opinion. I really enjoyed getting it all put together after I pissed myself off nine million times. But, there you have it. Uh, so, thanks for watching and all that, I guess. And, hope you enjoyed seeing my trash heap. Alright, bye! Get up off my boat! No, just kidding. See ya!